Thank you very much, Thank Mr. You. President. Um, when the allegations first surfaced, you initially said how important it was for Dr. Ford to testify and that you wanted to hear from her. I do. But I wish you it could have gone quicker. Well, you also said that if what she said were as bad as she claims, surely her or her parents would have reported it. And just today you said you would well, have Well, there is a truth. The I mean, there is a chance that her parents could have reported it 36 years ago. So, so my question is... It doesn't mean they had to report it because in some instances people keep it quiet. It's a very tough situation for a woman. There's no question about it. And in some cases they do report it. Frankly, had they reported it, it would have been pretty amazing, wouldn't it? But I guess they didn't, and that's okay. I'm not saying they had to report it, because it's a very personal thing. It's a very big problem. There's no question about it. Go ahead. Do you want to hear her story before I'd like to hear her story, yeah. Well, we're giving her time. you already made up your mind? They would have given her time last week. This is the United States Senate. This is the most important position that a president can give out, I think we can say, by far. I've actually heard it's the most important decision a president can make. I disagree with that. War and peace. I always say war and peace. And after that, Supreme Court justice, right? Uh, I look forward to hearing from her. We could have heard from her last week. We could have heard from her for a long time. Uh, it'll be interesting to hear what she has to say. Okay. Let me follow up on Jim's question. Mr. President, let me follow up on Jim's question that I don't think we got an answer to. Which one? Which um, question? How Who? have your personal experiences being accused by more than a dozen I've been accused. I've been accused. Misconduct? False accusations. Right. Excuse how me. Have those I've been accused. And I was accused by, I believe it was four women. You can check with uh, Sean Hannity. You can check with Fox because they covered it very strongly. Uh, who got paid? Excuse shaped? me. Excuse me. I was accused by four or five women who got paid a lot of money to make up stories about me. We caught them, and the mainstream media refused to put it on television. They refused to even write about it. There were four women, and maybe more. I think the number is four or five. But one had a mortgage paid off her house, $52,000. Another one had other things happen. And the one that reported it, I believe, was offered $750,000 to say bad things about me. And she is the one that reported it. This woman is incredible. She reported it instead of taking the money. So I've had numerous accusations about me. Right. They, I mean, they made false statements about me, knowing they were false. I never met them. I never met these people. And what did they do? What did they do? They took money in order to say bad things. I've had stories written in the New York Times front page about four women. The whole top center front page of the New York Times. I think it was four big pictures. I said, wow, that's a big thing. What's that? These were women that were quoted saying bad things about me. Not the worst things about me, but bad things. And I said, gee, that's too bad. I knew them a long time ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. I said, that's too bad. I'm surprised at them. And then all of a sudden, I see him on television. Nothing to do with me. The next day or day later, they were incensed. They said, Donald Trump is a nice guy. We never said this. The New York Times did false reporting. They're fake news. And you know what? The New York Times would not report that their story was fake. These women said great things. Not only did they not say the bad stuff. They said great things about me. Front page. And those women, they're incredible women. They went on television, and they didn't want to. And I didn't ask them. And they said, the New York Times made it up. They gave false quotes. And they went on a lot of shows. They were really incensed, and they couldn't believe it. That's why people know that a lot of the news is fake. And a lot of the people sitting here are fake. But 20% of them are wonderful, OK? If I could just actually ask ahead, my question, please. Mr. Trump. I, you didn't let me ask my question. You, you've my been question asking was, a question for 10 no, minutes. So please sit question. down. Please, I'm go ahead. You, go ahead. How did those impact your opinions on the allegations against Well, it does Judge impact Judge my opinion. Kavanaugh. You know why? Because I've had a lot of false charges made against me. I'm a very famous person, unfortunately. I've been a famous person for a long time. But I've had a lot of false charges made against me, really false charges. I know friends that have had false charges. People want fame. 
They want money. They want whatever. So when I see it, I, I view it differently than somebody sitting home watching television where they say, oh, Judge Kavanaugh, this or that. It's happened to me many times. I've had many false charges. I had a woman sitting in an airplane, and I attacked her while people were coming onto the plane, and I have a number one bestseller out. I mean, it was a total phony story. There are many of them. So when you say, does it affect me in terms of my thinking with respect to Judge Kavanaugh? Absolutely, because I've had it many times. And if the news would have reported these four people, I couldn't believe it. When I heard that they caught these four people, I said, wow, that's a big story. And it was for Fox. Okay.